Hello, everybody. So I am back. Today I am going to try to do a extremely in-depth, or as in-depth as I can do, review on some Sicily products that I received. So if anybody doesn't know, and I'm going to go ahead and, and read, Sicily Paris is a French luxury brand that creates, produces, and distributes high-performance plant-based skincare, makeup, fragrance, and hair care products. So I basically am just doing the skincare aspect of it. I do have some foundation that I'll be placing on also, but I want to kind of go over the skincare products. So if you're new here, my name is Michelle, or mixing it up with Michelle, Hit the subscribe button if you already haven't, and please subscribe to my channel and check out some of the other content I have out there. Um, I don't have a lot as of yet, as I also work full time, so it's hard to, you know, kind of juggle both. But I try to do, you know, reviews of a lot of makeup or skincare, different items like that. I am considering myself a basic makeup and skincare junkie. So, without further ado, let me go in and show you some of the products I received from Sicily and how I've used them. So, I got this bag full of some items, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull some of them. I'll just dump the bag and go through some of the items. So, if you don't know, Sicily is an extremely, extremely pricey skincare system. And it's supposed to work, I would I would hope that it would work really well for the price range that this stuff comes in. So, I don't really have a actual set of a way to do this because it's new. But apparently you can call customer service and they can kind of walk you through. But I've gotten so many different items that I just, I don't want to pile them all on my face because then you get the the pilling effect you know when you have too much product on your face and that drives me crazy that's like nails going down a chalkboard for me I cannot stand pilling so so far from the items that I've used I've had a little bit of pilling but I think that it's because I've, I've layered on too many products so kind of have to go through and experiment a little bit and see exactly what works for me I've been using it since Monday of last week when I received them, and I have noticed some subtle changes, especially around my smile lines, right around my mouth and lips. So I will also be inserting some pictures so you can see those. But anyway, so one of the first things, and I think one of the popular items, is the mask cream. It's the black, it's a black rose mask, basically. It's a cream mask. It says it's instant youth, smoothing and plumping and brightening. That's what this stuff is. So they say there's a few different ways that you can use this. And I'm going to go ahead and read to you the benefits that this is supposed to, you're supposed to get from this one, from the Black Rose Mask. taking me a second to pull this up here so the black rose mask is supposed to provide instant youth it's a cream mask that has been specifically formulated to instantly help the complexion appear more youthful and energized its benefits the black rose cream mask offers the skin a look of instant youth rich in anti-aging ingredients black rose padina pevin Pavonica, probably going to butcher these names, so excuse that, and Alkalingi Calyx Extracts. It immediately works on diminishing signs of fatigue and leaves the skin looking more youthful and energized. It brings together three actions to restore a luminous complexion in just 10 to 15 minutes. It's a smoothing and plumping action, a revitalizing action, and a soft, hydrating action. It's deliciously scented with rose. The soft, creamy mask creates a moment of relaxation and pleasure. So it does have a rose scent, but if you've ever tried a By, By Terry product, 
that's heavily scented with rose also, but it's a different type of smell. Honestly, I don't like the smell of, of rose, like the fake rose that you, you get in a lot of skincare. But this, honestly, to me, doesn't really smell like a rose or rose is, but it, it does smell really nice. So I do like that. Now, some people say that you can use this as a primer under makeup. Or you can use it as a nighttime mask where you put it on. You're supposed to put it on your skin, leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then pat off the excess. Which personally, I find that a waste because this product is very pricey. So, I mean, who wants to wipe off the excess when, no, no, you want to get every bit of that and keep every bit of that in your skin. My, my personal opinion, unless you got money just to throw out the window I'm gonna leave that on my skin forever <laughs> like it's gonna stay there anyway so that is one of the items I have you and I will use this here but I want to go through everything and some of the things that I have found with it so this next one is a black rose skin infusion cream this was also in here now this one Smells about the same. You know, it's got that. It's just a very light, fresh scent, I think. Let's see if I can find. Some of these are harder to find on their websites. Um, but it's the Skin Infusion Cream anyway. So this one says it gives plumping and radiance. Now... I've used them. I try not to use them in conjunction together. So I'll use a lot of them say use morning and night, um, which there's so many here that you can't possibly use every single one of them morning and night. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try a few and then try the other few, you know, but there are a few I've used, but I have used this and I think I've used this one at night. Now, in conjunction with that, there is also a velvet sleeping mask. So this one, obviously, you would use at night to sleep in. So I think I've, I've like, one night used this one and then one night used this one versus trying, you know, piling them both on my skin and, and having too much product to where it would pill. So this one says it has saffron flowers in it, and it says it's a nourishing and restorative sleeping mask. It, Leave a thin layer overnight for the skin to feel soothed. Avoid the eye area. So, again, you know, this is one that you would use at night. But now you can also use this one at night as a sleeping mask. So, again, you know, pick and choose which one you'd like. I think a lot of people prefer this Black Rose mask the most. So the next thing I got is an anti-wrinkle concentrated serum. This is the Sicilia La Integral Anti-Age. Now these, a lot of them are super dinky, especially this one. This is probably the smallest one in the bunch. So this here is an anti-age serum. See how tiny that little thing is? Now I'm sure obviously this is just a sample. The full size would be bigger. It's like $575 or something crazy for a bottle of this stuff. Don't see myself buying it. But I'm not really sure what I'm seeing results on. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this on the area. Now, a lot of them say to take this and just kind of massage it into your fingers. You don't want to rub it into your hands because you don't want your, your hands to soak up your product. Because, again, it's not cheap so the less you can have your hands soaking up you know the better I have a deep wrinkle here which I try to get it into that now with my skincare and I will pop up before and after pictures also of my skin I also do get Botox you will find that I find that Botox is really the only thing that's going to give you the major major results I Personally, I don't think any skincare really gives you a complete, you know, anti-aging, anti-wrinkle look. If you want that, you're really going to have to put the money into the Botox and the fillers and things like that. I have gotten a couple fillers. 
but they're damn expensive too. So I can't, you know, I can't keep doing those either. But the Botox, I try to keep up on, you know, as much as I can, which it can be pricey depending on how much you pump into your face, how much you need. But, you know, if you're just getting a little here and a little there, you're going to nickel and dime yourself to death on Botox. Um, that tends to work the best. So surprisingly enough, this little itty bitty bottle right here has lasted me and I still got some in here because I really don't use that much. And the reason is, is I don't have that much and I want to try to stretch it. So this, um, doesn't really give you any details at all. Just says it's an anti-wrinkle concentrated serum. The L Integral Anti-Age by Sicilia. So that, let's see what the box says. Does the box tell me anything? There is a little pamphlet in that box. That's the only box that has a little pamphlet. But uh, I have a trouble seeing. So this says it's a powerful serum with intense oil. No, intensive anti-wrinkle action. Wrinkles are smoothed and plumped. Expression lines are relaxed. Use it morning and evening. Now pretty much every one of these says use morning and evening. And I can't use every single one of these morning and evening. My skin would be peeling. So here is another L Integral Anti-Age. Again, use day and night. This one here is more of a cream. So this one is a little bit bigger of a sample jar. So this one here... says a powerful skin care powerful skin care to address the most visible signs of aging visible results on the appearance of wrinkles firmness radiance tone and hydration use morning and evening i'm going to show you that on my hand because i'm going to be putting on the black rose mask i'm not going to also put this on but i will show you the texture of it and again i don't want to use too awful much but that's what it looks like Rub that into your skin. I do notice when I, I, I will say my skin looks really good after I've used this. And in, in, in this week since I've been using them, you can see my kitty back there. My skin does look really, really good and, and radiant, which is kind of what I'm looking for at this point. I'm looking to, you know, kind of get rid of these fine lines because I am due for my Botox again. But, you know, soften those out and just bring back radiance to my face, which is really where I'm looking. So my ultimate goal in this was to find maybe one or two products that I could use on my face that might help bring back some of that, that radiance. So I also got a ecological compound, and this is an emulsion, Jour et Nuit Toot. Pukes, pox, pox, uh, butchering, butchering the names. Um, this is an ec ecological compound. I have absolutely no idea. So let's read up on this. This says it's a moisturizing, rebalancing, and rejuvenating skin care. For all skin types, use morning and evening, alone or before your daily skin care. So again, I'll show you. Again, I'm not going to put them all on my face, obviously. Because, I mean, if you were to use them all, you're just kind of pushing it. There, that one also is like a, a whitish texture. They do sink into your skin really, really nice. That one has a little bit different of a smell. This one smells more, more medicine-y. Uh, that's about the only way I think I can describe this one. This one smells just more like a medicine versus the other ones that smell more that, like that pretty... It's not even flowery because I'm not really a flowery. At least I don't find it flowery. I just feel it to be like a nice soft smell that is pleasing. So I don't know if my camera is picking up the radiance that my hand has from those. So they do really make my skin look, look pretty darn nice. So another thing we got in here was a black rose skin infusion cream now this is a moisturizer this one here says daily face care 
It helps restore the elasticity for a more youthful skin. Resurfaces reinforces the Aha, I'm so blind. Reinforces the luminosity intensely. Oh, I'm not doing very good at this, am I? Intensely moisturizes and it's non comedogenic, whatever that means. Maybe I'm I'm reading it wrong because again I can't I, I probably should get both bifocals, but I'm not gonna do it. Not breaking down yet. <clears throat> so the next we got were some cream eye contour. Now this is a lip and eye mask. I have used this and again, yeah, let me go ahead. You don't get very much in here. This is a pretty thick cream. I might be close to darn out. I literally use just, just a little itty bitty drop because I need to make it last. But I've been putting it here, like around my, my lip areas where where I tend to get, you know, finer lines around there. And then I try to use this one at night because it's just so thick. And I do find this to be sticky. This one is sticky. Which I think except for the moisture cream, most of these are sticky. I think the this black rose skin infusion cream this one's not as stiff this one glides over your skin a little bit better so it's not as sticky so we also got an actual eye cream again you know just little itty bitty packets so this is a precision eye care fluid that reveals an instant visible smoothing of the eye contour area more luminous with less noticeable dark circles and visibly diminished puffiness. Use morning and evening. I have used this. I mean, I don't really think I've seen much of a difference in the puffiness of my eyes really from using this or a diminishment in any dark circles. But again, I don't have a lot of dark circles. My biggest is like the, the under eye wrinkles. You know, that's in the fine lines. That's where I tend to have the most trouble with my eyes. So it also came, and I have not tried this one yet. This came with a Velvet Nourishing Body Cream. So I'll have to try the body cream and keep you updated on that. It says it's an ultra-nourishing body cream that instantly soothes sensations of discomfort of dry skin. Immediately nourished, the skin feels supple, comfortable, and protected. It's a rich texture with a non-greasy finish. Apply morning and evening. Boy, they like that morning and evening shit with this stuff, don't they? That's how they're trying to make their money, you know? Apply that morning and evening so you run out real fast and spend some more money with us. So, also, it came with an itty-bitty bottle of the Black Rose Oil. Now, I love oils, so I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of this on because I have read <laughs> my kitty back there. She gets mad if I'm not paying attention to her. So, I've seen where people will apply a little bit of this oil before they apply makeup. Hi, Lily. Get out of there. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now, it also came with this little Sicily lip. I think they call this the lip contour. This did not come in a box or anything, but it just, or not eye contour, sorry. Um, oh, and that's obviously in French, so I sadly cannot read French. It just says Sicily Paris, but... It's, I'm, I'm assuming this is a little lip pencil, and it's kind of nice. I'll put a little bit of that on. It just leaves a little bit of a slight wash of color. I 
and a little bit of sheen. So I like that. And it, it doesn't last. Like it doesn't, you know, as soon as you drink or, you know, anything like that, it, it, it goes away. It doesn't last very long, but it does feel nice on the lips. As for a smell with this one, no, there, there's no scent to this. But the color's pretty. It gives a nice little sheen. Let's see. We also got a thickening gel for your brows. So this says, brush the eyebrows upwards to redefine the shape. Then brush in the direction of the hair growth to set and thicken. Apply on its own or over an eyebrow pencil. Softening passion flower extract and pro vitamin B5. And it says it's long lasting. I'll show you the little spoolie on that. Lily, what are you doing up there? She's out there on her little uh, her little condo. She's got a kitty condo. She's up on the very, very tippy top of her kitty condo. Meowing at me. So this is the little tip. This is the color. It almost looks whitish. But when you put this over your brows, you really don't see. You'll notice. I'm just sweeping it out. I haven't done anything with my brows. But... You don't really, it doesn't give off any color. It's pretty much just a clear gel. You'd think that it would look kind of grayish like it does on that spoolie, but it doesn't. You don't really see anything. And I don't use this much because I don't do much with my brows usually because I've been working so much. I work a seven-day swing schedule. So now that I'm back to working after my shoulder surgery, I don't put my makeup on like I used to or like I would want to so there is all of that now I also picked up the oil free Sicily foundation oh there it is fond day tint it's an anti-aging foundation and I got the color in vanilla see my hair I think I have hair I shed hair terrible too so, yeah, this color is in Zero R Vanilla for this one. So, now that I've put a little bit of the oil on, I really do like the oil, but I also have a favorite oil, which is Sunday Riley Oil. I really like that one. I like that one a lot. It's like a vitamin C oil. This oil here, if you were to buy you know, the normal size bottle, which isn't all that big. It's, I think, $210 for a bottle of this oil. Extremely expensive. It is nice. I give it that. It is nice. But again, I stupidly rubbed it all over my hands. I rubbed it into my hands, and now it's it's soaked into my hands and not my face. So I probably should have just done my fingertips and done it that way so I didn't waste but I'm going to go ahead and use this Black Rose Cream Mask. And I'm going to try it as a primer. I didn't put a whole lot of product underneath. Because the last time I did attempt to do this, it, my, my foundation kind of peeled a little bit. It wasn't a lot. Not peeled, but pilled. And it drives me crazy. Um, it didn't do it much. It did it a little bit. But anything at all just drives me, drives me insane. So that's what this looks like. I probably already even got a little too much. But I'm just going to rub it, you know, and push it in between my fingers and then kind of dab it on my face. Again, because of the cost of these things, you don't really want to spend, you know, a crazy amount of money. Or I mean a crazy amount of product because of the crazy amount of money. But it does make your skin look really good. I give it that if you have the money, you know, to spend. And you want to try one of the products from Sicily. This might be a good one. There's that. See how my skin looks after using that. Now again, it says, you know, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then dab off any, any excess that might be on there. But me, I'd rather use less and not dab the product off, just again because of the high cost. But my skin does look pretty darn good. 
Oh, and I think I forgot to mention I am 51. There's that. So let's pump out a little bit of this foundation. I'm going to shake it. I don't think you really need to. I'm going to go ahead and shake it. Look at my hand again. Like, Look at the little bit of luminosity that my hand has just from those couple little drops I rubbed on there. So it's the foundation in shade vanilla. Now, rather than go right in with a sponge, I'm going to grab... handy the handy brushes I'm gonna do a foundation brush with this when I'm done with this I'll read you what it says this is supposed to do also for your skin because I believe that this does also include some skincare benefits. And it's an extremely sheer, sheer foundation. So it's not going to be a real heavy, high coverage foundation. It's really, really sheer. This one is more of a fragranced product. It smells a little more fragrant than some of the, the face products do, moisturizers. This one might smell a little more like the, the, the actual rose, artificial rose. But again, not as strong as the By Terry products, if you've ever tried those. They smell really, really strong and heavily scented of roses. Just bring, now see, I still have quite a bit of that on my hand. So it didn't really take, also I'm trying to do it into the, the phone camera. So for all I know, I've got pieces of my skin that have no foundation. But I will pull out a little mirror and just double check here in a second. I got all right. I'm just going to add maybe. Just a little bit more. And then I'll go in and tap those in. So there you have it. You have the foundation. And I still, I'm wasting product. I still have the leftover product on my hand. I probably could have went in a little, little heavier with the foundation, but I'm really not looking, you know, to go too heavy tonight. So noticing Again, like I said, my face is a little sticky. At this point, you know, I'm going to let the skincare properties set into my skin, so I'm not going to really add any more makeup at this point. Just kind of let the skincare properties set in. And I will continue to, you know, play around with some of these skincare products that I do have. And probably the main ones that I will be using is this Black Rose Cream Mask um, and the Black Rose Skin Infusion Cream. So the mask and the moisturizer. I would like to continue with the anti-aging serum because something, and, now, and it might have been just that lip and eye contour that, that kind of softened here. 
Not really sure what product it was because I've kind of dabbled with all of them a little bit here and there. But I haven't used all of them together just because, I mean, come on. I'm not going to put, you know, 15 products on my face at one time. You know, I don't, don't know if anybody does. Does anybody do that? I, I wouldn't. So I don't know exactly which product it was that might have softened those. Maybe the anti-age serum or that eye and lip contour. Not sure. But I will, again, like I said, I've only been using these for a week, and it's kind of hard to really tell if a product is going to work and how well it's going to work after just a week. You kind of have to use them for an extended period of time to really see if you're going to notice any, you know, remarkable remo results. I'm hoping for the price tag that these are that you would, you know, see some decent results. So, but I will definitely continue to use this and I will continue to use this and I will keep you guys updated on how these two together work in conjunction, especially with the foundation because I did purchase the, the bottle of the foundation. So that is it for my research on the Sicily products. Um, I've tried looking through YouTube and I find a lot of people that have done because they do have a, a makeup brand also. They have quite a, a large range of makeup. So I see a lot of people did reviews on the makeup. But I really haven't seen a lot on the skincare itself. You know, you know on, on a lot of the lines. Some people have done basic. But I haven't really seen anything in depth. So, so, the, 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> sound like Elmer Fudd. Anyway, I was trying to try to get a little bit more in depth with some of these products that I received and that I have been trying to use. So, you know, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have tried any of these Sicily products, what your thoughts are, and if you've seen results, what product is your favorite, um, and, you know, let everybody know what your thoughts on these things are. Again, if you have not gone and taken the moment to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, please do so. It would greatly help me out. All right. Thank you all and have a great night. Bye.